major psychosis. And again, it was the same problem. She was constantly accusing me of cheating. That's why the Facebook thing happened. I got so pissed one night, I literally said, you know, maybe I will cheat. She was constantly accusing me every fucking day. You're cheating, you're cheating, you're cheating. Definitely you're cheating. You're cheating. Oh, by the way, you're cheating. No! <clears throat> you want to talk about fucking gaslighting? That's fucking gaslighting. I'm telling you. I ain't cheating, honey. What the fuck do you want from me? For real. And Jack, they, I mean, I certainly have the in common with Jack when, you know, I drink and I get angry. You know, and I'm thinking about, I'm putting my mind back there and I got this. And I, I'm, I'm fucking angry, man. I have never cheated. Every day. And all I was doing was serving her. All I was doing was serving the woman. Going to get her food when she needs food. Whatever she needs. I was going out in the car and getting it. Otherwise, she couldn't get her butt up to move. Because she is crippled, guys. That's not a lie. Okay? She's crippled. That's another reason I can't leave her. I cannot leave her. Love. And also, I would be a piece of shit to say, fuck you, I'm gone for good. Because she's got no one. I would be a piece of shit to do that to her. And she doesn't deserve it. She is a good woman, basically. She gets triggered and can do things. How could I judge her for that? That's exactly what happens to me. I told you that I was supposed to give you the whole story. And I'm going to do it right now. I got off track by talking about a bunch of crazy fucking shit. Sorry. <laughs> Shout out to Amanda Breck. If you somehow see this out there, I got rid of the Facebook bullshit. I can't deal with it. I had people telling me, leave her. Leave her. Leave her. I ain't gonna fucking leave her. She's my girl. Amanda Breck would know about that. He's a widower. God bless his heart. God, I love Amanda Breck, man. And I kind of turned into Amanda Breck. <laughs> I still got my feet, though. God bless Amanda Breck. Lord Jesus, reveal yourself to Amanda Breck, I pray it. So here's the whole story. Jesus. I don't want to talk about it. This was trauma on a level. Holy shit. I don't want to talk about it. I don't. But I have authority to, and I should tell you. Because I got the clear from her to tell you everything. So I will. Fuck. <laughs> She'll start off to tell you this, that, and, and I'm going to take her word for it because I don't remember that this was so fucking traumatic that it was like a boom right in the fucking jaw and I got knocked out and I don't remember some of this shit. Okay, so I'm taking her word for this. I woke up in a bad mood. I woke up in a really bad mood. And I called her some names. I don't recall this. What I recall is waking up and being like, holy shit, I, I got to get out of here because my uncle has been absolutely incredible to me. He can't afford this shit anymore and shit has to change. 
So what I recall is that I told her, look, honey, you got to start getting off your ass more. You, you, you have to start moving more. Because my uncle is right about this. You know, he said, Jay, as long as she's on that couch, she's going to deteriorate worse and worse and worse and worse and get worse and worse and worse. And it's happened. We've been here quite a while. And and she used to be able to get up these steps. I don't know. You know like, uh, these steps, okay? She used to be able to get up those steps okay. What a gorgeous house I have, man. I used to. I own this place, too. I gave away one house to G-Man, and I gave the other to my family, my uncle. You know, this I own this place, too. Insane. I gave it, I gave a lot away. Anyway, she used to be able to get up these steps. The point she's at now, she'd get up three of those steps and almost die. So I decided to say something. You got to start moving more. You have to, honey. And she got real offended. You don't know what I go through. You don't know what. You don't know this. You don't know that. So she claims that I, and I'm saying that she claims that I just woke up and started calling her names. I don't recall that. I recall me actually confronting her about the fact that we got to get the fuck out of here. And your your health condition is getting worse and worse and worse. Don't you see this? You need to move more. And just like crying, she's like, I can't move. I can't do this. And it's like, no, honey, you, you can move. You can move. Thank God you can. You're not in a place where you're bed bound because apparently in the past Shanny's had bed bound depression. Literally a case where she can't get out of bed. She has never been at that point. Thank God in my, I've never seen her that way. So the day starts off bad, right? It started off that way, but we made up. It's like, okay, you know, let's go in, let's play Coral Island. That's what she likes to do. That She loves playing Coral Island and these cozy games like Animal Crossing and shit. God, sorry, my mouth is dry because I'm talking a lot. So we go in here. Oh, look at the setup. No, 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 no. Oh, I have to open it. No, no. My God. You can't hear me either. Okay.